What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Mo's Hawk here. And right now, I am unboxing my, well, unbagging, I guess, my Chinese levers. I got some brand new levers for the uh, 2016 ZX10. They are from China. No, I did not go and spare a big ass expense on some levers. And, uh, just took off the first packaging and I'm gonna take a knife out of my sink to cut this because bachelor life and I need to wash it anyway. Fuck it. Okay, where's the fucking, okay. Okay, a grown man should not have this much difficulty with bubble wrap. You know what? If they put as much into making these as they did to bubble wrap them, I feel pretty good about them. Okay. And looks to be pretty solid construction. CNC aluminum. It feels just like, I guess, whatever it is, stock. So, you know. And there we go. And there is your clutch lever. So guys, um, I'm going to go uh, install these right now. First step I'm going to do, uh, taking this all the way apart. It was a disconnect and rotate, but now it's not a disconnect and rotate. It looks like I have to do something more. So, and guys, you might have a easier way of doing this. I don't. So, I'm just going to back this all the way out. Okay, guys. So back in. Here's what I did. This particular piece is mounted uh, with this depressed spring-loaded device on the bottom of your clutch. Kind of sits about right here. Uh, and it's held on by two screws. I remove those two screws and this whole assembly just pops off. Right, better than the Z1000 because when I did this on the Z1000 it pretty much came uh, out into pieces. Now, I'm going to take my wrench that's supplied to me in the Kawasaki Toolkit and I I'm going to loosen this screw. I mean, yeah, I'm going to loosen this bolt. All right. Okay. This bolt will be reused, of course. And, oh, because I suck. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Should I hope you guys can hear me? And I'm going to set this on my tank. Can I believe I'm setting that much shit on my tank? Oh, well. And uh, word to the wise, guys. Every time you change your levers, um, do not just take off on your bike. Um, lesson I learned with the Z1000 is that every time you change a clutch lever, uh, at least with me, in my experience, um, the adjustment is never where you had it. Should, I mean, that should be common sense, but I guess it's just not to most people. So that's why I'm warning you, you know, uh, adjust your clutch before you really start riding. Um, me, I started from like, uh, I think I started from the back of my garage. Um, I held the brake, gave myself some running room. When I first uh, changed my clutch levers on my clutch and brake levers on my Z1000, and I um, actually put the bike into gear, took the bike out of gear um, with the clutch lever just to, you know, just see where, basically where it was uh, after I got done screwing with it. So, just a word to the wise guys, just FYI. And I'm trying to reuse my bushing as is standard practice, but, yep, yep, oh, yep, yep. It works. Never mind. It's paranoid. I was about to say, this bushing doesn't work in here. So my bushing's popped in. <clears throat> and that's where it's going to sit. Okay. So let me pull this clutch cable in here. Okay. Now I'm just putting the cable into the notch. Okay. And I'm sliding this in here. And now I will reinstall the nut and bolt up so it's kind of sort of semi-tight. And 
Where's the the side of the wrench that this is? This is a uh, this one is a ten, by the way, guys, a ten millimeter. Okay, <clears throat> tightening turn. Um, hopefully not too scary, stupid tight. Now that clutch is so stiff right now. Looks like it belongs on the jigsaw. So you fucking loosen that because Jesus wept. Damn clutch is so tight. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back here. I'm going to reinstall this little piece right here that was originally on here. Having it depressed by the lever as it should be. Okay, and this thing kind of has like, uh, it has like grooves and pins, guys. Like there's a little pin that goes into this part of the uh, lever assembly, so you kind of, I guess can't screw up placement of where it is. <clears throat> ah, my back, my neck and my back. And Kawasaki likes blue Loctite and red Loctite. They like Loctite. You know what, I like people that like Loctite. That means they don't want your shit to come loose while you're on the freeway. So, thank you for thinking of Loctite, Kawasaki. That was a fart on my part. Right here. Okay. Okay. Here I am. I'm gonna put the screwdriver down. Might not even need that anymore. If I do so, remember the brake side. It's a little easier than the other side. <clears throat> okay. Completed. And for stiffness. Now guys, uh, let me stress one thing to you. Um, whenever you do a lever install, uh, in addition to checking your clutch for the engagement, um, also, this is a good time to adjust your levers to your riding style. Um, you know, just for wrist comfort and everything like that. Uh, you'd loosen these same bolts to just, you know, do like I did, just rotate it up and down. Um, I suggest you do the same thing for, uh, you know, your wrist comfort while you're at this stage. So, just a, um, just a suggestion from me. Now, the complicated side. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Got that taken off. And now it's time to hopefully not screw up anything while I am here, whilst I am here. And now this one's going to be a little bit easier than the clutch side, actually. So after I got that disengaged. I'm just going to make a couple of uh, nice left hand turns. If parts fall out just immediately, guys, I'm going to turn this video off and cry because new bike shit. You know, it's a new redesigned bike. Oh, and guys, be careful not to fucking torque on your um, brake reservoir hose. Your front brake reservoir hose is right here. I know it might not look like it because. I'm a big, clumbering, brutish thing, um, but I am taking great care to take care um, <clears throat> of that particular hose because 90% of your stop, I'm sorry, 70% of your motorcycle stopping power is attributed to this tiny ass little brake line being healthy. So uh, don't fuck with your brake lines on a bike. Okay, so I already removed the back bolt. I don't know if I um, had stated that clearly yet, but I removed that back bolt uh, just like I did. Now I'm just gonna unscrew. Yeah, I mean, I removed the back nut. Now I'm just gonna unscrew this bolt, my Allen wrench. Um, <clears throat> this size, um, I honestly don't think is in the toolkit. This came from off of my bar and mirrors, but a good thing to have when you're working on your bike um, is a Allen key set. 
uh, I would go ahead and grab one. I mean, I know they give you one, but you know, you never know. Somebody could miss a size or could be a size different. You know, I don't know. They don't just guaranteed give you all the parts in the kit like you think they do, you know. You think they do, but having extra tools never really hurt anybody. So, <clears throat> all right. Okay. So, let's see how this works. Uh-oh. This ain't normal. So, what the fuck is this? Okay, all right guys, let me take a break here and figure out what the fuck is going on before I break something, okay? Okay guys, all right, so this is what threw me for a loop right here. Uh, this um, little head right here fits into uh, this little slot. What you have to do is uh, when you take this lever off, um, this little piece right here, you just have to push the lever in and you have to just kind of actuate the spring and then you just have to let this little notch slide out. Uh, after that, that same little notch uh, goes back uh, in here on your cheapo lever. Hold on. I'm sorry. On your Chinese lever, according to Taco Cruz, your, Ch your Chinese lever. And do I have to change the bushing on the... Yes, I do have to take the bushing out. Okay, guys. So, it's looking like the uh, diameter of the holes in question. Uh, whilst checking out the diameter here. And the diameter in the original stock lever. That this particular set of Chinese levers... Um, comes with, I guess, the correct diameter for the bolt that fits in the assembly. So, I don't know if that bushing comes out of the stock lever or not, but what I do know is that it's not necessary for this application because I can just slide this in and it'll be kind of the correct thickness. And I do not know the sensitivity, like I said, of that little piece right there. But what I do know is it's part of my brakes, so I'm being very gentle with all of these. Because I like stopping. Believe it or not, I like going fast, but there's something about stopping. It's just so awesome, you know, when you want to do it. Maybe not all the time, but sometimes stopping is awesome. Okay, so reattach this bolt in. In. Put the motherfucker in. Okay, so that's threaded. So that's in there. I'm going to take this. Do it finger tight as much as I can. I'm gonna use my fingers just like she likes it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't finger tighten very hard here. You break out your wrench. If you finger tighten it, give her the tool. If you've gotten her all wet with the fingers, use your I mean all loose with the finger all tight with the fingers, then you use your tool. Okay. All right. So that is done. Now it's time to just put the other pieces back on. I'm going to Okay guys, now at this point we're pretty much done with the install. Now we're just tightening. Kind of like finalize the tightening after. Just for the feeling I like on my brakes. <sighs> that is the install of my Chinese my Chinese shorty levers. They look pretty on Zanaya. 
And uh, even though it's predominantly a green and black bike, because I have my kill switch right here, and because um, because the other side that's like red is kind of close to the tachometer, um, I don't really think it looks that bad color clashing. I don't know. That was some bullshit fashion stuff. Anyway, uh, quick, simple video. Um, hope this uh, gave you guys everything you needed to change out your levers. Some Chinese shorty levers, like Mr. Cycle Cruiser would say. Chinese is his style, and I don't want to bite. But uh, now I'm just going to kind of straddle the bike for final adjustment of both levers, um, put my tools back in my toolkit, and uh, go riding for the evening. All right, guys, any questions? Like I said, hit them in the comments, and I'll answer them. Uh, if you are not riding, start riding, and if you are riding, keep riding. Peace.